Chris is, man. We back with that podcast, medicine, just real raw shit. Can't get it over the counter, man. You got to come rock with us to get it, man. We've been dropping that shit on you, man. I'm talking about it back to the business, man. I'm talking about go by gas the realest. I miss the man of the motivator. Here to motivate the nation, brother. Here to motivate the nation. I'm talking about we've been getting it in, bro. I feel like I don't even know you, brother. Yeah, <laughs> you know bro. Like, it, it's, it's been... Um, Ain't see you in a minute, my it's, nigga. It's, it's been... Um, Interview after interview, you know what I'm saying? We we haven't been, you know, to the business that we normally get to, like me and you just just chopping it up. You know what I'm saying? It's been, you know, interview after interview. So it's been crazy, but it's been good. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, it's been good. Salute been to good. everybody that we did. Uh, Jason, Trombone, Gangsta. Detroit. Uh, Detroit. Salute right. to them brothers, man. Mm-hmm. And uh, appreciate everybody who's been rocking with us through the whole Wait, man. Shout out to 504 Street Stars. He he been hitting me up. We've been talking. We've been dropping some gems on me and shit about some YouTube shit. So uh, shout out to him, man. Salute to all our monthly members, man. That's real big. If you're not a monthly member, man, I'm talking about just five dollars. Ain't never hurt nobody, brother. Man, ain't never stop nothing. But I also want to shout out to the, you know our new subscribers as well. People Thanks. that just you know what I'm saying came to the the channel and tuning into us and becoming um you know what I'm saying a subscriber. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all become a member. You know what I'm saying? It helps the channel out a lot, and we appreciate everybody that, that that already is a member, you know? Right, right. We ain't got nothing on the agenda, but just overall from uh, the podcast that we did, Gangs to Stick Out, and it was cert- it's certain shit that I even just popped in my head I want to tell you about uh, for us, Gangs to Coming to New Orleans, right? And... That was against the first time in New back back in New Orleans uh, since you know uh, to enjoy itself. Not the he came once before, but not like on some leisure shit, right? Right. So when you are away like that, I know it's a different feeling than the feeling that you get by just being in New Orleans. You right. see what I'm saying? That's that's a, that's one feeling that I know that I'm inside New Orleans when I see them signs. That's a feeling alone by itself. But the other feeling that you 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 I don't I want to say in search for, but the feeling that you had more before you left, right? Right. That's that's the feeling that you miss, right. and that's the feeling that's not coming back right there. You know right. what I'm saying? Because it's a, it's a difference of. Being celebrated, niggas patching up the uh, Magnolia, seeing gangster, being you know intrigued and everything about however he was coming to. Now you feel within, you're not even welcome. So right. it's a different. It's a different. You you never could get that feeling that you had once standing in the courtway. You know what I'm saying? Again, right. and all that shit just come raining in. That's yeah. gangster, but. You won't, you won't never be accepted like that within, and, and you, you can't find that feeling. And that's the difference when I was telling them. I noticed how you be inside and outside. I could tell your whole demeanor it was different. You know what I'm saying? It's a more like I'm not being celebrated. I'm more like looking over my shoulder type shit. That's a, it, you, you, that's a different feeling. Right. Yeah, I, 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 um, when we went, you know, met him in the French Quarter, you know, I saw he was trying to feel the essence of the city. But at the same time, you know, still, like you say, looking, you know what I'm saying, just to make sure, you know what I'm saying? I, I get it. No, you know? for sure. I totally get it. And when he was talking about, you know, uh, the city just not what it used to be, I'm like, it's not, brother. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I know you when you come back, you wanted to see the project again and go through some of those cuts and them alleyways that you once grew up on. But, you know, they're trying to get this, this, this city a facelift. And I was surprised that he was like, Bitch look terrible compared to what I'm like. And the total projects down like these, these housing developments look much better than they once did with the bricks up there. But to him, you know, that's what he missed and that's what he come from. And that's 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 his essence. Like, you know, so it's almost like they took his essence away. You know, we we've been here a minute, we've saw that come down and other things come up. And, you know, still could feel uh, the energy of New Orleans, but he couldn't because those landmarks and things that he was familiar with was there no more. Like he said, he tried to go back around Clara or or Willow or whatever and was like, where I'm at? I don't even know what street I'm on because it's just, it's it's, it's not those project walls no more, those buildings, well, those landmarks where he know where he at. Like, so it's almost like he was in a town that's not his town. Right, right. You know, and I I, kind of understood that. 
from that perspective of it. Like he wanted to feel the essence of New Orleans the way that he left it, you know? Right, right, right. And uh, more like uh, you had, you was like gangster where you find that appetite to kill and shit like that, right? right. Cause you were sober, you wasn't on no drugs. And as I was thinking and thinking, I'm like, nah, all drugs ain't an illegal substance. You know what I'm saying? That you should you be addicted to. Thanks. And it made it made me think when he was like, nah, I just wanted mother, I wanted motherfuckers to know me. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, I I wanted motherfuckers to be like gangster did that, gangster that was gangster work. Woo, woo, woo. I love that shit. I just wanted to be known for being a stepper. Right. And that's fame. Right. You know what I'm saying? And when I thought about it, that's when he was like, damn, man, fame is the worst drug known to man. So that was your drug. Even though this nigga drug was a legal substance, your drug was the fame of being noticed. And that was just like the illegal substance for you. Right. You get a thrill off it. You get a rush off it. And uh, he lived for it. You know, just like anybody would live for, a, a, you know, a drug addict would live for the drug of their choice, you know pulling off acts, being respected a certain way, that's what, you know, he, he lived for that. That's why I was a little surprised that, like I told him, I said, man, you used to pop out after your name was ringing off or something, you still would show up at a DJ. That was different from a lot of other people, but the way you speaking on it right now, it's the fame of it. It's no, it's no, it's no joy in it if I can't pull off an act and then get the, the respect and the, and the accolades that come with it of, yeah, boy, you know, the respect level that he was living for. You know, I, I have to pull up and pop out because that's the only way I'm going to get that joy of what I, you know what I'm saying, what, what I'm really addicted to. Nah, know? nah, that's true because, nah, nah, that shit, that shit go all, all, all across the board because just being a man mm -hmm. wasn't enough. Right. I wanted to be the nigga, man, right, you know what right, I'm right, saying? The man. Just being a regular man wasn't enough. But today, as we sit here, that's the goal, to be a regular man. You know right. what I'm saying? Taking care of your family, and keep taking care of priority and responsibilities, and take care of people counting on you that you know counting on you. Right. That wasn't enough then. And that's why today, when we sit here, a nigga will look straight past you being a man if you don't have no street attachment or no work that came with it sometimes. Right. And that's why when you'll be talking to gangsta and you'll say something that a nigga feel like gangsta should be offended by, nigga will strike you, be like, damn, he talking to gangsta like that? He don't even know gangsta, woo woo. Because nigga looking over that you is a man. That's right. not enough. Right, right, right. I wouldn't give a fuck if this nigga <laughs> right. got 50 bodies. Right. This nigga here a man, you'll be the first one he killed. Right. The nigga with 50 bodies, you'll be the first one this nigga right here killed because he is a, a man. man. Right. He stand on the man principles, right? You know. And niggas look past that, and that's the same shit with gangster. A man wasn't enough. I wanted to be celebrated and be this type of nigga. Right. Just to just to get older and just want to be respected as just being a man. Just being a man. <laughs> man, that was facts right there, how you put that. Right. Real yeah. talk. Yeah, just to cause that's the end. In results of it, the result of it right now, I just won't be alive, bro, and enjoy the normal shit that I took for granted. You know what I'm saying? Be able to, like he said, walking in Walmart just to see, just, you know, like shit like that. Who would have thought Walmart would be what it is for him? Like, you know, you know, like he looked, he, he ignored Walmart at one time, but now Walmart means so much to him because of how his freedom was taken away and he just won't be back in a position to just live life as a regular man. Like, right, it's crazy, right, right. Like, you know? All this shit be crazy because niggas, niggas be wanting what they want from certain people when you get them on these podcasts. No matter what podcast they on, hmm. man, you want that dope. I know you want that dope. So right. when a nigga trying to get that dope, you can't critique a nigga after you know you want that dope. Right. You, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> right, right, right. Because that's, that's what a motherfucker want. So we got to critique and we got to motherfucking run the podcast how we got to run it because I don't, it was a hell of a fucking good podcast with gangs. I enjoyed both of them. It was, it was, it was a hell of a good podcast. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. To the point to where if a nigga interview gangs, I don't know what they can ask them if they don't just repeat our questions because we covered it from all aspects, mainly for the people. Right. Questions that we know people you know, been mumbling in the street, you know what I'm saying? Probably wouldn't never even have the heart to address or ask him that, you know, but 
through the respect that we've gained with him and the respect that he had for us, we was open to have that type of conversation that the average person just couldn't have with him. Like, you know what I'm saying? And even some podcasters, because of his history, some of those people wouldn't even ask the questions that we ask because they'll be intimidated by, I might take him off. I might make him mad, you know what I'm saying? But the rapport we've had with him through talking to him, you know, he understand what we do and and we're going to do it for, you know what I'm saying, for the people for real. Like, you know what I'm saying? We're going to ask the shit that the people really want to know. And if you come on the podcast, you got to know right. that we're going to go, you know, the real route about it. Now, it's on you to answer it or don't answer it. And it is what it is because what Gangster didn't want to answer, he said, I ain't speaking on it. I'm gonna leave that alone. I'm gonna let that be. But the things that he wanted to speak on, he spoke on. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad you brought that up, big brother, because when a nigga do that, that's cool. We respect it because we, we ain't just about to, you know what I'm saying, just keep pushing the needle. We'll move on because that's a statement in itself. You dig? For as nigga, if, 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 if nigga asked me about you, big brother, you hear me? And you did some real shit, and I know all your accolades and whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be like, I, I, I ain't speaking on me in why he here. You know what I'm saying? If, if if I know all the good shit that you did, big brother, hmm. I would never say, nobody would say that. Right. I'm not going to speak on big brother because he not here. I only right. know good shit about you. Nobody wouldn't say that. The moment I say, nah, I can't speak on big brother when he ain't here, that's something hinting to where you ain't right, big brother. Uh, I, I I know the whole shit that you did, and I don't want to speak, speak on, on it. it. Yeah, to be on the bad side of you by speaking on it. So that's why I don't just we don't push the needle because a nigga looking over something don't want to talk about something. That's enough. That's enough. It's it's, it's enough said in that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because if it was something good, like you say, I have everything to say about it. But if it's something bad that I might have to say, I'd rather not even speak on it. Right. You know, it goes back to what your parents say. If you ain't got nothing good to say, don't say nothing at all. Hey, but what about the <laughs> so 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 uh you know we, we, when we was having a podcast, Gangton was like, make sure, make sure you see me in the face on this part right here. You know what part we were talking about about the part that uh when he was explaining like when we was trying to explain the no honor among thieves. Right. That's that that's the part. And I think he was tripping on the facial expression that you was given because you were saying, no, according to you, all the street shit, then that honor among thieves void everything. everything. If we right. listening to you, that's what we were saying. We was in agreeing right. to you. We was only in greens if we rolling with, with, with if, what you're saying. If what you're saying is law, then this one a rule that y'all got kill everything. should kill everything because if there's no honor amongst thieves, then everything else, all that, you know, you can't rant, you can't, you got to do this, or you you got to step this way, you got to, you keep your mouth quiet on this, all that's, that's, that, that's out the door because it ain't no honor. And if they ain't got no honor in it, then, you know what I'm saying, at the end of the day, anything's bound to happen. Why should I be in the streets and worry about you more than me? That's that. That's the mentality. If you saying like an honor amongst these, yeah, I'm that's more concerned person, with me. Yeah. I'm more concerned with my my well being than yours, you know. And if it's gonna be that way, it's always gonna be me. Right. So whatever I gotta do to make sure I'm good, that eliminate everything that you standing on with a code and you can't do and what you can't right. do. All that shit out the door. Because <laughs> if it's all about me. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to do what's best interest for me. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it, it, it might turn out to ratting or snaking you or stealing from you or whatever may come to put me where I need to be at. All that's open, you know, fair game at the end of the day because ain't no honor. And gangster, gangster, gang, gang, gangster, a smart dude, bro. And uh, the clarity of the, I never looked at it like that. The clarity of the sealed, the sealed uh, shit. The document. Like the reason. He said, "I could, I could, I could see that. You know what I'm saying? I could see that, but because you know the reason why he said you can't see. Right? I would have thought I could see that. I would have thought that if that went that way, he would be thrown back in jail. You know, because hold on, what you, what you, what you mean? Meaning, like if 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 you if your documents are sealed because you don't want uh nobody to, the 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 people to know." that you committed these murders or whatever may be the case for whatever, you know, for the protection of 
the people not knowing that, you know, I'm the one that killed their people. I closed the case, but I don't want the world, you know, the public to know that I was the one that did this or that. Maybe for my safety, whatever may be the case, you know. Uh, if, I, if I admitted to it, that should be a crime within itself that I should be going to jail for more than getting less time for. That's what I would assume because I agreed to a murder. You know what I'm saying? If if it, now if I if I said Joe Blow and Joe Blow and Joe Blow did that, then that may be different. I can well, get time reduced, nigga, wait, wait, but I can't be the one that's saying I did the murders and I get released. That should be another murder. You that saying? should be another charge <laughs> yeah. on, under you. It shouldn't be. I'm gonna get less time for saying I'm the one who killed X amount of people. Like you know what I'm saying? I, I can only I can only. Uh, understand that if if it's like I'm telling that Joe Blow this one that one done it even if nobody went to jail for it even if it was dead people I'm telling you who did these murders and you sealing it because you don't want the people to you know to know that you know it's a you close the case but you don't really want you know the people to know for the safety of people relatives kids whatever may be the case I can see that in, in, in that manner but I can't see you admitting to killing somebody and then they say I'm gonna reduce your time for my, just telling us my real real woo bro about how I feel about all this shit that is bullshit at the end of the day we we, we believe it or not we journalists you know what I'm saying right. but at the end of the day man I really really don't give a fuck brother about none of it Right, but because if we did, we it, we wouldn't even be putting ourselves in a place to interview, even if we were journalists. If the principle was that uh, bold in us that we stood on that code that people live on like that, you know what I'm saying? That's why we don't put ourselves in a position. I saw somebody in the comments say, "Boy, I think Gas would be telling if he, you know." And I'm like, "Nah, Gas just wouldn't put himself in a position to have to tell." But in a situation of talking about a situation somebody's in. He's just kind of letting you know that's how that would go. You know what I'm saying? Or, 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 or he understand how it would go. But a nigga not trying to live like that to be put in a position to have to be faced with those type of consequences. Like, you know, and that's the main point that I think we'd be trying to make to people is like, listen, bro, think. You know what I'm saying? Like, think ahead. Think for some other nigga. Sometimes you got to think for them because nigga trick you out your spot by, you know, putting right. you in a position where you have to react a certain kind of way. And wind up putting yourself in jail and putting yourself in a situation where you, you got to make a decision that I'm you probably wouldn't make. I'm not going to jail. I don't want to go. I'm not under no code. And if I was to go, I would do what's in my best interest. <laughs> if it don't, if, if whatever it may be, my nigga, right. I, I'll be outside gays or whoever. I would do whatever in my best interest. But at the same time, my nigga... Back to being a man. That's that, that that that's how it go. I didn't all my jail time that I did, it was always with somebody. And it was always my fault or my shit. It's hard, big brother, for to take your charge. I don't give a fuck what it is. It's hard to know that, man, I don't wanna lose the 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 chance of going home. Body can't figure it out if if it's My for me or him. you. Right. I don't want to lose that chance. So it's hard to do that. All my charges that I went to jail before, that was the situation. That's me. I had to do it. That's hard. That's hard for me to do because I'm killing myself on what I just explained. Mm -hmm. Nah, that wasn't for me and the man. That wasn't me. Every time I went to jail and went upstate, nah, that wasn't for because that was really for me. me. But right. I'm still killing my chances. Right. And I know that. And that just being a man, that was my woo. Whatever consequence got to come from it, then that is what it is. I think that's the realest way to go about it, like, you know, or, or look at anything. You know what I'm saying? You holding yourself accountable for your actions, regardless. You know what I'm saying? And with being that type of person or being that type of responsible person, you you learn from those things and not to put yourself in a position to have to do that again. Like, I don't even want to put myself in a position. I'm So I'm not even going to do that to have to be the nigga to say, that's me. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm just not going to fuck around with it at all. So uh, I don't know, bro. You know, people just make a lot out of this shit that, you know, it's, it's, it's basically simple. Like, you know, like I said, a lot of people, and I've said this before, they, they haven't been battle tested. And people get in a situation with these guys and then be ooh and eyeing about who did what or did what, but never really went through nothing, but that'd be the situation that you put yourself in at that moment. Like, and then you find out at that moment, oh, he not solid. Well, if you the, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
dealt with him on some other things or had a little bit more time to, to, to evaluate this person properly, you probably would have been found out that this dude this type of way. I think the signs are always there. It'd be smaller. It just don't be as as broad as, you know, you, you, you getting time 30 years, 40 years. I think it, it show up in a lot of other places. It show up with little money. It show up with the way he treat his mama, the way he rock with his brother. Yeah, yeah, you know, thanks. you've been seeing it a million ways, but you, you, you look over that because you keep thinking... Not me. That's what I was asking gangster. Like I was like, you dealt with a guy that was, you say was a, a rat. You know he snitched. You still scold from him. I'm like, I, 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 and, and I still wholeheartedly feel like that. You, you dealt with him because you say you don't care. But there's a part of you that felt like he ain't gonna do that to me. You know what I'm saying? I just really feel like he felt like I'm still fucking with him because he, he, you know, sometimes nigga feel like I know what he know what come with me. He would do that to that nigga because he feel like nothing ain't gonna come from that. But if he do that to me, he feel like something else might come with it. So I think you know, it's that. I think that part play I, with it. No, like, it, 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 it play it, a part. A big part. A big part. That that nigga put that in the head. He he bet not. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But is that? That's a big part of it. But to me, big brother, the higher portion of that is. What's beneficial to me at this time? I need this. I, I need this. Right. So if I can fuck with this rat two, from. three times, boy, listen, the deals he got with this year and how they keep coming back, <laughs> I need to get get that, and it's it's beneficial to me. So that's why I think the that's a bigger portion of overlooking that a nigga a rat when it's something beneficial. If it ain't nothing beneficial, that's why a niggas mad and and and, and, and mad at gangster and a lot of other niggas who who who, who did that. You know what I'm saying? That's a crazy mindset to me in a way because you need it for the moment, knowing that like that's like me dealing with. But it's not real though. Right, but it's it's like knowing that conspiracy, you know, hold a certain amount of time. Like you know, just like if this guy, you know, want to get rid of like some of his time. Like you already know that he rat, and I'm scoring from him, and I'm dealing with him. Man, he, you know, my name coming up if he ever get popped. I ain't even gotta have nothing to do with it. Like to me, like he can get caught over here. And then he'll be talking about what happened over here. Like, I just think that's how it would work because dude trying to, if he's a rat and he's a dude that's giving up information, he's got, well, gas go from me, meaners go from me. He trying to give up some people. I'm not trying to fuck with you to even put my name nowhere in the scene. Because listen, I could score from you two times. It could have been a year ago. But some kind of way, when you get popped and all this paper, you know, all this information think- come out, it come out like, I scored from him two years ago. Like, Mina was going for me from two years ago. Or a phone call that happened a year ago comes up in court now, and I'm I'm, in, I'm indicted with some shit. You know what I'm saying? Because of, I might have some activity popping over here. I don't fuck with you maybe two, three times, but I don't fuck with you no more. You see what I'm saying, bro? I done went over here, got a new plug, got a whole nother connect, and I'm booming. And just because I'm booming with him, he scored for me. Right. Hey, you think that shit crazy? You, like, it come back and catch you a year or two later on some dumb shit that you ain't even fucking with him no more. You, just because you fuck with him. You think you think we mixing it up between these two or you or, or, or not? I'm talking in general, like to to, to anybody. I had lost. No, no, I know, I know. I, I, I had got away. Wait, wait. I had got away from directly him. I I, I started off talking about. Oh no, no, I want talking about that. I want talking about that. I was talking about like is, is is we mixing this up? Like a nigga who ratting when they get popped. It tell everything a uh, nigga, cause some shit I think we saying like a nigga working for the working with the people, a uh, nigga get popped and he just telling. So is we mixing that up or, well, or that's different? Well, I'm talking about a guy that's already got a reputation that he, he just ratted. So, oh, so he not nigga working with the people. So I wouldn't, but so I'm using, we was mixing it. So I don't, I was but I, what I wouldn't know is if you do, I don't know if you work for the people. or Don't work for the people because you ratted. You see what I'm saying? I don't know how deep this run. On the evidence that the information you gave to these people, are you a plant out here? Because we don't have undercovers no more. I don't see nobody coming. Can I, can I school? Everybody get the fuck from around here. Like them days are, are gone. It's the same dudes that you used to school from that's 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 that's, that's railroading you right now and, and and getting you this time. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no no white boy that they just plant or a black dude that they putting in the area to 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 do nothing. It's the same dudes that you used to run with, score with, run around, you know, do shoot marbles with the whole nine. That's who are the new agents. So I would never look past if I if you got a reputation that that's what you did. I would never not say you're not an agent. I don't know how deep it's running. And you're back on the scene. So 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 I serving? don't know if I'm scoring from a rat or I'm scoring from, from a from nigga who's working with the with people. the people. I don't know. 
But if the reputation of you being a rat and you back on the streets, that automatic come with it, huh? That he he got to be with him. <laughs> that, that, that come with it. You gotta you be, be a regular rat. It yeah. don't work with the people, but that's still the stigma. It's always gonna register in my mind to that level because you're back out here doing it. <laughs> <laughs> you're back. You're, you're back selling. You're back hustling. You know what I'm saying? You you know sometimes you know I think one of the biggest clues of it all to 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 judging if it's aging or just rat is when they pumping they bigger than they was before they got popped. That's aging? That's aging to me, bro. Ain't no way you coming back home and now you just the man, man, man like, without being, you know, something. I, that's how I would look at it. I might be wrong on it. I'm not into it like that, but that's how I would, if I had to judge it, if I was hustling in the street, that's how I would look at it. I'd be like, oh, dude got poppy home. How long he did? Boop, boop, boop. If he didn't do his time and he got cut short and and, and then some people, the, the word out that he didn't got him pop, mm. him pop, him. Oh, man, boy, I ain't about to be the next one. When you I see was, what I'm saying? When, 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 when I was saying that, like, the beyond with your big brother, I don't give a fuck nothing about it, for real, for real. I was, I was meaning also, like, really this. Because that, you know, when niggas be like, man, back in the G, it was like this. It wasn't like that, man. Like, <laughs> niggas get, you know what I'm saying, get killed. They tell on a nigga, ooh, ooh, ooh. That probably did happen, dog. But I think it never was. That's that real? Yeah, like, them like them people been doing that. Hey, you know what? Uh, This shit was crazy because when I saw the comment, it really made me think. Cause I when Gangster was talking about Harmony Oaks and nigga had comment, man, my lawyer worked back there. Right. My lawyer lived, lived back, back there. there, right? And I, this shit was funny. And I thought about it when I met my baby mama. She was staying on Seventh in Harmony Oaks, and as I thought about it, the person who stayed next door to a nigga was a white, uh, a white guy, probably like forty, between forty, forty-five. And he had the green dinner scrub on with the little hat tied back. You right. hear me? That was a nigga neighbor. <clears throat> that was a nigga neighbor. It's definitely, it's definitely what you said about the white people walking dogs. Because that was a nigga neighbor. As a nigga saying, walking dogs, homie comment, lawyers. And I'm telling you about that dentist nigga who stayed directly next door to us. Right. There's a whole different uh, climate. Of It's definitely better. You know what gangster them come from, and I think that, like I said, I think that's the disheartening part. Like you know, what I'm saying even with Sess Four Five, I remember when Katrina hit and they was talking about tearing the project down, and you know they was fighting to keep it up. Like you know, and I think it was like for a reason of like displacing people that that was their home. Like I think that was the overall thing that Sess and them was arguing over. But I was like, Sess, bro. Let them clean this bitch up. This bitch got a sore eye. Like this is this city is ugly. With you know what I'm saying? Like let, you need a facelift. Like so, what they did to the Calio, the Melf, the Magnolia, every project, all of them. Like you know what I'm saying? Uh, especially the fucking uh, Saint Bernard. Like you know what I'm saying? Them, them, them shits look good, bro. You right. know what I'm saying? So I was like, it, it needed that type of facelift to you know for the city. Like you know what I'm saying? So to me. I would still say that, you know what I'm saying, it's a better look than it once was, like, you know what I'm saying, when the project was up. But, I, you know, I understand somebody who, who that was their stomping ground and that's their environment of how they made their name for who they are and to come back and see that no more. Like, you know what I'm saying, I could see how it could be disheartening to you, you know, from that, that, that perspective of it. But overall, like, you know what I'm saying, I think it's just a, a better look for the city, you know. Right, right, city. right. Uh... Like some of them, and, and, and I get it because sometimes I, I didn't have family members like that, like old grandma, great grandmas, and stuff. And and their routine be their routine. You know what I mean? Right. In that little neighborhood, they've been growing up. They don't, they don't, they don't, they don't, want, they, they don't new. want nothing new. I ain't expecting much. You know, my routine is what my routine is. I know the man, man. I know the, you know what I'm saying? I know everything through this bit to where I'm good right here. So I know that shit could be difficult. And, 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 that shit will damn near cause a motherfucker to die because you all of your routine. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I get it from that. Be like, man, that's how my grandma, I, my grandma, well, I don't want to change nothing. Leave me here in this little wool. I'm, I'm completely I'm, fine. I'm good. Yeah, I've been here all my Church life. Church van, come get me on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I like my routine. I'm good. Yeah, I love my routine. I get you it know? from that perspective. So, you know, like, because like I said, they have people, uh, 
who kids have made money and they be like, man, I'm about to move my mom, my, my grandmother out this yeah, and they be like, I don't want to go nowhere. Just give me some money where I can go to Bango and do the things I want to do at, at, at a luxury level of not having the stress to do it. And boy, that's heaven for me. Moving me to a whole nother neighborhood will be depressing to me, even though this is a big house, but it's lonely to me because I'm not familiar with this. And some people get stuck in, you know, the spirit of familiarity. I, I want to be where I'm familiar at, you know what I'm saying? Right, like I told right, you, right. I'm like, cheers. I want to go places where people know my name. Right, 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 <laughs> you know what right, I'm right. And that, that just be the zone for some people, bro. And, 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 you know, ain't nothing wrong with that. Like, you know, if you want to move then, and you're able to move, then do what you do. But if you want to stay there... I don't think that it's, it's bad for a person to want to stay in the same environment that they come up in, you know, if, if it works for them. Because everything don't make everybody happy. What, what makes you happy don't make the next person happy. I, you, you put me in this home, you're going to put me in, in a misery place. I'm going to be miserable because I can't talk to Miss Kathleen and, and, and Miss, you know, uh, uh, Josephine over here. You know, I can't go play cards or, or like with these people that I normally do. So not, now you're just cramping my whole zone. I'm in this big house and I'm, I'm lonely. I'm just, it, it, it could bring on depression to a person that's just wanting to be in a familiar place. Because, 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 nah, nah, I get that shit. Because like you it's really, it's tied in a knot to where like a nigga like being selfish and a nigga feeling like I, 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 this is an accomplishment. You, you, like that, 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 that's. Got to be uh, where you at because what's happening, like, you know, man, as a nigga coming up in poverty and coming up in them slums, that's all we ever wanted to do. Let's get you out Get of your it. mama out the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Because right. that, that's a that's an accomplishment within yourself right. from the morals and everything that you, how you'd have been raised and the people, just shit that. that just to be in a position it, to do it. Right. Right. It's, it's that's reward. A, it's, yeah, it's that's reward. That's a big there. accomplishment. Right. But the selfishness become. Mama don't want to move. I'm doing that for you. You know what I'm saying? Like for myself. Like the, it's a compliment, but mama don't want to move. And I still wanted to move. That's a part of being selfish. You know what I'm right. saying? She don't want to move. Cause that shit happened with my mama. I tell you about the, the house uh, getting shot up and shit. And they had to move my mama away. Even though nigga had to move her on, on them terms. On a, nigga, for her safety. Nigga still had whatever it took for you, for you to move. Nigga did that, but mama was miserable. Right. So that's the because of the familiarity. Shit. Right. I'm, I won't right. go where I'm gonna go where, play, where I know people. And a like, new life know? is hard, huh, brother? I mean, if if it's not something that you expecting to go or you earned or work for, like you know what I'm saying. Like sometimes by you know, default, you move yeah, by default. That's, by that's default. bad, huh? Like yeah. Katrina. Yeah, that's a default. That's the default. I ain't really want to move, but that's, I'm forced to move. Like you know, that's a so, different lift. Yeah, but if I'm grinding for this opportunity. Now it feel good to move. Now it feel good to move. I can figure out what I don't want to know. Because I, I was busting my ass. I'm stacking my money. I'm doing everything I do, I, you know, that I'm doing to get to where I'm going. I'm seeing this house. I'm looking at this bitch on my phone over and over again. I'm picturing myself in it already. Right. So when you finally get there, you're like, all right. Right, right, But to right. a person that's just spontaneously like, you got to move here. What? Right, 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 right. Oh, man, y'all fucking my whole zone yeah. up right now. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, it, oh, this is a nice house. But like I said, where where, where Miss Kathleen at? Where Miss Josephine at? Like you know, I gotta call him on the phone. Like you know what I'm saying? Just don't. It's just I don't want to do that. So 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 it's like, uh, so when a nigga come up and a nigga move to the big house or to cross state with big mansion, wherever they move at, nigga nigga able to do that, but they still by themselves out. You know what I'm saying? You still somewhere else in another state, bought property, got some build on there. Fuck you. You feeling the same way? No, like I say, if that's if if that if I'm goal oriented. But when a nigga saying it's lonely at the top, like who you who your your friends, all the people that you fuck when you go out with and you chill with, they ain't there. So that's when they like it's lonely at the top. But I read, I'm I'm making a point of saying because it's lonely at the top, but fuck it's lonely at the bottom. So I'd rather be that. Some people just want to escape, you know, the things that they come up with, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, some people always was miserable in a situation of poverty. Some people wasn't. Some people was content with poverty. It's, it's, it's mindsets. Like, some people live in poverty and be like, man, I just hate it here. They got some dudes that have the best time in poverty. Like, you know, going by this person's house, 
give me a cup of sugar, all that kind of shit is just normal and they have they see no problem with it. But to a person that's like your mama said, go get the sugar from Miss Such and Such. Man, I hate man, I gotta go knock on these people. Like that yeah. person is striving nah. to get the fuck out of there. Like, nah, you know what real, I'm saying? Real, real. And when he get to that place of where he arrived at, he not looking at it like I'm lonely because this is what I was trying to this is where I was trying to go at the right, whole right. time. Nah, nah. I was I was wishing it was like this when I was little. I just wasn't Nah, breaking it, it down yeah, like that, yeah. making me understand a little more to the point to where a nigga with no worries and money not the top of his it, thoughts. Boy, I'm having a good, good time. Good time. Around. Right. Money is not a worry. Right. Boy, you know that other person who's saying, man, I gotta go ask them. Boy, them, they having headaches night after night after night to get some money. Boy, you worried. You don't right. see a, <laughs> fucking gray. I got gray hair coming out my nose now. Right, I'm right. like, God damn, because I'm one of them motherfuckers trying to get it. Yeah, you know I want saying? it. I want I want I want out and I wanna I wanna be put in a better position, a better place. You know? And 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 you, it, you know, listen, you notice this? They got some people that live routine after routine. I remember coming up. In my days in the project, people be like, my mom had a project, I got a project, my daughter got a project. You know what I'm saying? It's like the routine never changed. They comfortable in that world. Like they honored, I'm about to get my own project. They be happy to stay on the same level that their mama, grandma, great grandma was on. You know Why what should saying? I be mad with them? Because I am. I'm just saying, why should I? Why should I? Be maybe because you want more for... That's what I'm saying. Why people. should I keep getting mad with my family members and my a certain people in my... You when, shouldn't, when, really. when, when, I know, but why I'm, I'm saying why I'm because doing Because you, you want more for them. You want more for them than they want for themselves. That should turn into an argument, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because you want... Why you don't do this? Shit, why bro? you don't go... I don't want to yeah, do it, guys. That should make me... That should piss me Man, off. Man, go get you a line, job brother. and do... That shit Man, fuck with that's me, what dog. you want to do. Yeah. That's not what I want to do. Even though you saying, but you understand what come with it, the bumming, the 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 burden of you having to ask me for your shortcomings. That's what it is. I don't want keep doing it, nigga. Go get a job. So my pressure that I'm putting on you is because the burden that you are putting on me. I don't want to have to keep peeling out to you to satisfy you, even though it's fifty, sixty dollars. Like that shit add up in the long run. Yeah, over and over again. Like I don't want to keep doing that. So yeah, we put that. Pressure on them because they putting a burden on us with, you know, with they, you know, mindset of and like. Then nigga be on the other that. side, man. Like let them people live how they want to live, and that's a piece, though. That if you can do that, you will find that's, peace. That's, yeah, and that's in route to becoming lonely. You know what I'm saying? Because all them people will start being standoffish from you because they don't, they don't want to hear that meaning when they when, when they come around. You know what I'm saying? About right. get yourself together, man. Why you doing this? Yeah, bro, because every time I smoke a cigarette or every time I stop, you got to get something. Or every time I smoke one, you tell them you hitting my pack. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's why, my nigga. Right. Yeah, but you know, like to that person who don't want them, man, you gotta give me a cigarette. Yeah, yeah. Stop making it. Why man. would I need to do it if you got it? You petty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you petty. Damn, you over a cigarette, bitch, this the eight pack. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? This, like, you don't understand, like, you know. Why do you finesse you like that, bro? Some game come with that shit, bro. Man, you yeah, know what you know, I'm saying? Nigga hit me the other day. You know, you know how much you know how much you know, you know, all right, but you know how much easier it is for you to bum than to go work for it or go get it? You know how easy it is like give me a cigarette. They really have to find the money to go get a cigarette. So that's nah, you know, so, but, but, but go ahead and see what nah, you Nah, because talking about that shit, uh I seen the motherfucker post and it said, man, the pain hand say he made eight hundred dollars a day. And that bitch said, Well, he better not be mad if he see me on side his fucking ass tomorrow. Right. You making eight hundred dollars for just whoop. Just action. Just action? Right. That's way easier. Much easier than going and punch a clock and having responsibilities and the whole night, man. <laughs> yeah. And then With I don't no have guilt? and I don't have no pride with no that. Guilt? I don't get no, no guilt pride, no, no, no pride. pride. I don't, yeah. Bitch, I know what I'm doing. Yeah. You might not know. You looking down on me. You're a bum evil. All right. It Keep. is, it is, it, it is a method with this shit too, though. What you mean? To get the money. It ain't just standing there with the sign. You gotta put it on the, the oh, face. Oh yeah, it's, it's acting. The... It's a lot of yeah. acting. It's a lot so, of acting. And people have learned that I've seen I do this, I get more. You right. know, if I'm smiling and looking too happy, they they pass me up. But if I'm looking a certain kind of way, they, they, you know, I'm, I'm playing on this. Um, right. I'm playing. You know, I'm playing on their sympathy right now. I see a nigga around the corner when 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 they knock off. You know what I'm saying? They they, they get tripping out. You know what I'm saying? They get doing a trip out I'm, all the way home with the money. I done earned it. But by the motherfucking car, nigga. 
Today was a good day. They, that's how they walk into your yeah. car. On some cripple shit. You feeling sorry for him. Yeah, you right. feeling sorry, sorry for him. Right. Round the corner when he get out, he, he listening to Teasy. Trip, he tripping <laughs> out. He tripping. He thought he was crippled. This nigga got his fingers like this and he walk into your car. Right. Like, like this here, hop down there, hop into your shit. And, get around the corner. He, he trip out. That's my enemy. <laughs> Yeah, nigga having a good old time on your book. Boy, they came up on, on your dollar, yeah. Boy, I'm telling you, boy, when he came up talking about inspired dollar. <laughs> <laughs> right. When he came up, boy. Right, right, right. Shit. That's a part of it, bro. That's a part when of it. When he came up like a motherfucker, boy. So you seen, um, you know, this this city big, big on culture. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm a little concerned about this because Second Line's been... <laughs> A part of our culture, like, you know, if anybody watching from out of town, Second Lines is when, you know, we have a band in the street, they march and people dress up with they, you know, they, they, it's, it's, it's like they part of a social and pleasure club, you know, and they come out and they drape out and they, and they come out and they cut up and people play with the brass band. Some of them have floats. We got kings, queens, a part of these organizations. And then the city come out and follow it and, and, and support it. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like a free party on the street. You know what I'm saying? It's a part of our culture. But... The last second line that they had, it was the big nine, you know, and, uh, you know, shout out to my man, Hot Boy Ronald. He was the king, you know what I'm saying? He did his thing. And, uh, you know, they came out and they did their thing, you know what I'm saying? In the nine were packed. You know, the city came out, they brought them out. That's one of the one of the biggest second lines they have. That's one of them. And uh, we wound up getting two people murdered and I think 13, 13 people shot, yeah, in, you know, injured, you know, uh, in in. At, in that situation. And a lot of people were saying that... That sounds like a switch. I mean, it, it happens, you know, uh, you know, in, in a line of fire, but I'm just saying, some people were saying that uh, the second line should have stopped. It was like, after that type of in- incident went down, you know, they should have just canceled the whole rest of the second line. And uh, somebody had made sense to me about that. It was like, man, listen, that second line runs so long, they got people that's way up here. They don't even know about that. They didn't even know that happened. They found out that happened later mm-hmm. or when somebody mm-hmm. left from that incident and caught up with it, like, you know. But another thing is that we have become desensitized to, Prom. I mean, to murder. Like, you know, it, we numb to it. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's like we see things happen and we've seen it so much in our lives that it's just, it's, it's like a normal thing and, and people are not as traumatized about it as... You know, it used to be at one time. Like it's like you know, it's, it's like something that's just regularly happening. We can expect it in in a lot of instances. Instances and um, you know, so the people kept going. You know what I'm saying? So they got pros and cons of it. They got some people that say, you know, I'm in the second line, I spent a lot of money, bro. That's not. I I wasn't the cause of that happening, and you know what I'm saying. We we we, we got to keep yeah, going man. on with what, what we're doing. They got some people saying, man, y'all was uh, you know. You know, y- y'all was uh, unconcerned about, you know what I'm saying, the people that died, their family, the whole nine. That was like a disgrace or a disrespect to those people because y'all should have ended it, you know, and and, 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 and you know, out of respect for the people that got injured and, and, and murdered. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, but I don't know, bro. Like, uh, we haven't had an incident like that happen in a, in, in a minute where nobody have been shot, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, like bad news spread faster than anything, you know? And, uh, you know, I, I'm, I was a little concerned that, it, you know, with something happening like this, that they will maybe uh, cancel second lines to where we, we don't get to have it no more. So, it's, you know, I call it we killing our own culture right now, if, if I had to say, you know what I'm saying? Because if that was to happen, who fault would it be, you know, but ours? Right, right, right. You know, I, I think if, if 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 you got a problem like with somebody, you got beef, you shouldn't even be out there, you know, you know, if you know, because they got so many people, they got old people, children, uh, middle-aged people, all kind of people come out there to have a good time, and then you out there on, on stalking out somebody, and then you find your victim, and you just strike and wind up hitting bunch of innocent people as well, like, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's, yeah. it's just a concern, like, you know what I'm saying? I got saying? a whole lot to it's say It's like about a pro and a con to it, like, you know what I'm saying? Don't kill a culture, but goddamn, y'all killing the culture, you know what I'm saying? And it, it, it's us doing it to us, bro. Right, right, I don't want to go too far, because you see it a whole lot, it's a whole lot to, co- right. whole lot to cover yeah, in that just... little woo right there, because just just from, from, from this perspective first, we get into all the other shit. 
uh, for stopping it. I'm gonna get into that first, and 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 I don't want to speak on the the, the people. I want I want I want to bring it to me, like, Pers- like, personal. Yeah, like saying if it was my people, you know what I'm saying. I just don't I just don't see like how stopping it would benefit me. You know what I'm saying? Or my feelings or my emotions for my people. I just I just don't know how that that would coincide with my feelings. You know what I'm saying? Like I just don't see that uh affecting any way about my people dying. Me, you know what I'm right. saying? For us Personally. to stop it. Right. I just I you know, but everybody, everybody is different. Mm-hmm. Uh that's why it may be a thing that you even heard that because that's how probably maybe some people felt. But right. me, I'm on the other side. I, I just don't see how that, that would affect me in any way that the second line kept going because my people got, got killed. You know what I'm saying? Starting it up, I mean, stopping it up, keep going. I just don't think that is a big woo on my people, you know. Yeah, hey, I, I heard it from people that just was spec, you know, uh, spec, uh, speculating or spec. Whatever words I'm trying to use, but you know what I'm saying. People that just was out there that, that seen it, they was just giving their opinion about. It. They should have stopped it because of this and then, you know somebody got murdered. Like they should cut that shit off after. What, but but I, I didn't hear from directly like some a relative that was saying that was my cousin that got killed. They should have stopped it. It was just mainly people that was there around it that kind of was speaking on that. And then there are other people, like I said, that was around it too. That was like, hey man, you know what I'm saying. It ain't they fault. It ain't the second line fault that this happened. Like it's, it's it's these little dudes that's you know into this different type of beef. Like you know what I'm saying, or beef up the security, or you know what I'm saying, put more people out there, put some drones out there. Like you know what I'm saying, like you know, put some things out there to make these guys second guess busting a move like that. Right, right. And so, so, so the next the next perspective is like you were saying about you beefing. You shouldn't come out here. This and that. That's the, that's the logic thing. You know what I'm saying? But beefing don't mean that I walk on eggshells neither. You, you understand? Nah. Uh, and sometimes that this person could be on go and this person, I'm not on that. But I'm going in the second line. You see what I'm saying? I'm not on that. But the person I got in touch with, I don't know what he on. But if he on that, then I got to be on that. So I ain't come here expecting to do this or to, you know what I'm saying? But I'm here. I ain't, I ain't just about to live a boring life and not go nowhere because I'm beefing with a few niggas in the city. I don't think you know, young niggas operating like that. So Yeah, they, evidently they're not because they, they're there. Well, so every, it got to be taking your perspective of mine. Like, you know, I'm, I'm walking on no eggshells. I'm going where I go at. Like, I want to go. That's where everybody's going to be at. And I'm going out there. And that's the same. It, well, I ain't going to say that's the same way. I'm going to ask you, is this the same way, brother, to well? You come up, right? Me and this shit. You should walk on eggshells, bro. Flaunting, flaunting, whatever you bought, your car, your whip, however you coming. You should walk on eggshells, bro. You work for this. You know what I'm saying? Like, to sh- like you shouldn't have to hide what you work for. You put in fucking work, nigga. Every, you know what I'm saying? Eight podcasts a month. Nigga, that's, that, that's just what the people see, nigga. We do triple that. Off camera for us trying to connect this shit. Yeah. I just I was thinking. Like I didn't did all this nigga tell me that I gotta walk on eggshells or I gotta hide what I got because a nigga gonna be talking about I'm stunting and nigga trying to come see, trying to rob me and shit. you know what I'm saying? I gotta move away. What you think? It should be like that? Uh it, it, it shouldn't be like that, but that's the way it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you know, said, yeah. uh you know, when you shining, like, it bring out the vultures. You know what I'm saying? People want what you have. And, you know, it's just like any other game. Like, you know what I'm saying? You sell drugs, you do whatever. Like, you know, they got people that, like, I'm looking to take that. You know, that's 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 how they move. That's 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 their hustle. You know, it's nothing personal against you, brother. It's just that's how, that's how I get paid. I find, you know, you become my vic- victim. I see you with some jewelry. I want that. I go with my move on that. And you become, like, you know, you, you, you draw those type of people to you because, you know, so it ain't being on eggshells, but it's also you got to be you got to be cautious, like, on how you move. You know what I'm saying? You got to make sure you got what you need with you to protect you if anybody was to try to violate you on that level. More, more, more of when you didn't have nothing, right? More than when you didn't have nothing. That's the thing. I'm hustling to, I'm hustling and doing all these, these, these hours and man hours and shit, trying to make something work just to, 
do that when I don't even have the problem sometimes, right now. Sometimes you be you, sometimes I would think some people have grown past the point of being in the environment that they are. Like if I got a certain amount of money, I'm a certain level, I'm going to things that those problems don't exist because they got more people with money like that. Like I'm around it well they ain't looking to take mine because they got they got it. Like, you know what I'm saying? You have to graduate. You know, people kind of be stuck. It goes back to the familiarity of, like, what people comfortable with. No matter how much they rise of money they make, they still want to be planted in the hood and certain things. But things come with that. Like, you know, like I said, they got people that that's my hustle. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you putting yourself in an environment to... You know, it's not that you're walking on eggshells, but you got to be wise enough to know, man, I'm not going to be a motherfucking sitting duck like for nobody either. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not just going to put myself on front street with all these vultures around me and I'm just raw meat out here. Like, you know what I'm saying? Nah, man, I'm going to put myself in a situation around more people with money so that I don't have to worry about that. I don't have to be because he got money, he got money, she got money, everybody in here got money. Nobody not worrying about taking mine because they got theirs. You, you I think gotta, the biggest for graduate. Right, right. But on the other side, if that person who's trying to take from a nigga, I think the biggest facade is what money do for you. You know what I'm saying? Because you you are here, nigga, in the neighborhood. Boy, if I could get a fucking hundred thousand, boy, you didn't already had that a few times. Mm -hmm. To know it ain't it, it, it it's it, not the feeling that he thinking it is. That's why he wanna go overboard and take it and do and do whatever he wanna do. Because it's the facade how the hundred thousand feels feel. to him and he don't even know how it really feels. You see what I'm saying? And that's why when you take my jewelry and you take all this, this glistening gold shit on me, it don't do nothing for you. You see what I'm saying? You steal that broke nigga after you took it, you took your picture, put it on Instagram, you didn't you, you didn't go viral, you know what I'm saying? No money came from what you did, and you just steal back in the hood after you took my jewelry because you didn't know the value of it. You know what I'm saying? Because you never been able to get it. And that's the same with money when a nigga trying to come take your car. What you think you could do with this car, my nigga? I think it all be for the moment. People live in the moment of what, what what it brings for that moment because, you know, it's just like buying. I think something. if a nigga was living for the moment, he wouldn't do it. I just mean. Yeah. It, 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 all right, I'm saying this: like you, you, you wanted something you, you, you it, that you got. Like you meaning like anything, car, shoes, tennis, you know, anything you wanted when you got it goes like whenever. You know what I'm saying? You got it. In the moment, that shit felt like needed, like or felt like that's what it was about. And then after a while, that shit just become nothing to to you. You know, the car come becomes a car, just four wheels. The house just becomes space. You know what I'm saying, bro? Because after a minute, like, once you get familiar, comfortable with it, it's like, man, it was, that shit felt a certain kind of way for that moment. Like, you know, in the moment, it might last a little bit. It might last a year. It might last six months. But after a minute, that shit is going to become, like, I need, that's why people get bigger homes and, and new cars and more clothes. You know what I'm saying? Because that shit just be for the moment. And it goes back to the guy that's doing what you say he's doing. He can get that rush. That could be his addiction, too. Like, it could be like, I get a rush off of taking yours. Like, because it's so easy and just pulling and pulling it off. I get a drill out of that. Like, you know what I'm saying, man? You know, up it. Give me that. You know what I'm saying? Like, some of that shit just be a rush. Some people are kleptomaniacs with the robbing part. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, that, that's the same mindset that they have. They get a rush off of what they do. And it's just for the moment. Because right. once it's over, they might sell that jewelry. Some of them don't even keep some of the shit that they got. They, you know, they, they, cause they can't sport it. Like I can't sport the car. I can't sport the jewelry because at the end of the day, you know, you see me with that piece and know that I took the piece. So I'm selling it to somebody right, else. So right, I'm pawning right. it for some money or things. That no, I, I like to. how you, I like how you explain that. But the only, the only thing, which you, you, you just cleared it up with the last part, cause you said. Just like the houses and shit, motherfucker want bigger, motherfucker want woo for the moment. And I would, you cleared it up the last part, you like, if that nigga, you talking about a person who worked for that guy, this nigga got that illegal. Boy, your moment been, you were saying for the for a, a law body citizen type shit, boy, your moment might expand. Six months, year, yeah, woo, woo, yeah. woo. If you got that illegal, man, your moment probably be a fucking few days or something. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. But to your point about doing it the right way, it seemed like the reality of that is, Nothing to never be enough in, 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 in the world. If we got to keep getting bigger and bigger, house, 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 don't matter what we do then, reality is, it'll never be enough, no matter which status that we get at. They got some people that get... If it's for the moment, we're talking about. Right, right. But they got some people that get, you know, content in, in the level of where they arrive to. It's good enough for me. 
You know, they got some times that you could just be like, I'm gonna get you know, to a certain moment, you, you've, re you've reached the ceiling to where you want to, you know, I don't want to push no more. Maybe you're getting up in age, maybe you get to a level where you're like, I'm not about to go get another house mortgage or whatever. I'm good right here. Mm -hmm. it, you know, that's how you find out grandma houses, the house that everybody lived in because they reached a certain level and, and you got up in age and it's like, I'm not about to go no further than this. But then they got some people that are challenged by, if I got that, I could probably get this. You know, some people will call it greed. Greed is when I go by any means necessary to get it, but not if I'm accomplishing in my means. Like, I don't look at that as greed. I look at it that I was I was a I thought greed was I already have and I just want more. I want more. That's what I'm saying. But I'm I'm saying you can't, you, it's like an appetite that you can't uh, fulfill. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, he, he just he just greedy. Like, you know, like I'm talking about he do by any means necessary, he do anything to get whatever. Like, he just greedy. Like, he's never content with nothing. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he's got some greedy people out here like that, that, that want your, they want theirs and yours. Boy, that's strong. And his. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're just greedy. Like, you know, so, you know, we got those type of people as well, but they got people that, you know, get this shit, and then they be like, I got put in a position where I make more money. Like, man, I'm, you know what? I'm going to give me a better house now. You know what I'm saying? Because my my level of money went up. Like, I, I, I'm i growing to this level. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not hurting you. I'm not taking from this person. I'm actually, you know, building myself up to get to a high level and it, it becomes motivation to them within themselves. They be their own motivation. I don't need to watch what you're doing or you're doing. I'm watching what I'm doing and I'm motivated off the steps that I'm making to, to, to keep rising to where I'm going at. Like, you know, so, and like I said. So it's a limit per person. Everything is per person. Right. That's like, you know, it's, like, it's, it ain't no, because you can always, it ain't, it ain't no ceiling. It's only a ceiling per person. Yeah. It ain't no just natural, natural ceiling. ceiling. Like, nah, people, nah, I get pe that. people I grow, get that. people keep going according to what they they want for themselves or what they motivate. It came to do. back around to, no, 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 I don't know how we be doing that, but it came back around to me getting mad at the person who don't want. Right. You, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, like, right. that's his ceiling. That's what he reached. That's, that's it. I don't want, like, that's why I kept Dang, saying. That's, that's why I kept saying. That. I don't want that. You right. want me to want that. Like, regardless you of want the that reason. For me. Yeah, you want that for me, but I. I ain't willing to do all what it takes. Some people just don't want the responsibility. They don't want, you know, what it takes to do to get there, bro. Yeah. And, and, and you looking at them like, bro, you can have, you can have a bunch of cigarettes if you just do this. Nigga looking like, man, it's so much easier to. Give me a pack. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy you say that, dog. Cause this, this, this right here, this the shit that motherfuckers don't be knowing. The person who you talking to, like you were saying that. Man, that other person don't want to do what you want them to do. You know what I'm saying? You want that for me. Nah, it, I don't have no worries, bro. And I can understand that, dog, because the person who be telling the person, man, you could just do this. You could just start a podcast, man. Just get some cameras, man. Put that shit up. It, you telling them that as if it's easy when you know it's yourself hard. is hard. Right. But... You talking to him as it's easy, and I wonder if he know. Do you, do you think that he know that it's hard? Cause he's he watching you, but you can't even see yourself that you making it through some hard shit yourself. That's why you explaining to him like it's so easy, man. Get them cameras, get that fucking equipment, dog, and just do it. But you think he already know? Like, boy, I see what you're going through, and you don't even realize what you're going through. I think uh, what you're saying that I just think certain people built for certain things. So when you built for something, it don't feel like as hard you as it may. It. Yeah, it don't feel as hard. Like you know what I'm saying. For anybody that's built for something, it's just like you know you've heard people say, "Man, I, I was born to do this," or "I'm I, you know I'm built for this shit." Like you know what I'm saying. Like it's, that's never eliminating no, that it's that. hard. It's never that. eliminating that it's hard. It's just that. I'm willing to go through whatever it, it takes to get to where it's going. See, that's a, a a certain kind of determination that everybody don't 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 possess or have within them. Like, you know what I'm saying? They don't have, you know, that type of possession to be like, man, I'm I'm willing to go through, you know what I'm saying? Cause sometimes you have to make up your mind within yourself, like, man, whatever. And I hear you say it a lot, man, I don't give a fuck. What gotta go, this shit gonna happen. It's gonna pop. Like, you know, like like that's a different kind of belief and a different kind of drive. Like that, you know, that make hard work don't seem as hard. Nah, 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 nah. Hey. Nah, that's real. That's real, brother. Real for real. To add to that, it's like, I do know it's hard. So I'm agreeing to that. I do know it's hard. 
And like you said, nigga, striving through it because you're making it seem easy. What it is, though, and the other person saying it's real, real hard because it is hard, but it got so much shit to check off. And it just that we checking some of the boxes off just being ourselves that we having a head start. By just even doing this together, right. that's what that that that's a part of it too. You know what I'm saying? Right. It don't look as hard as it looked to us because you mean it and I'm gas. And, and we naturally doing we naturally doing us. Yeah, and this dude probably don't have a mean or gas to even check off them boxes. boxes. So that's why we check them out. Oh, you know him? I know him. I cool with him, bitch. Woo, woo, woo. Let's get that. Let's get that. Them other people can't check them boxes. Also, like they start. So it's, yeah, it's, I get. I, yeah, I, I get it's, that. It's, it's, it's extremely hard for them. In, in 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 that sense of it, when you look at it from that perspective. But do that make you forget to pat yourself on the back? I think, like I say, uh, I think people do pat themselves on the back just within their own comfort. I think patting yourself on the back in public, meaning like carrying that pat on your back in public, is unattractive. It's is 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 ugly, and I think uh, it turned people off. And anybody that's conscious of that, sometimes you can see it in other people and be like, I'm never gonna be that. No matter how successful I am, I don't want to be that because that's ugly. Like, you know what I'm saying? When you see a celebrity or a star and he's snobbish and he acting a certain way, you're looking like, man, you got to be like that. You see that. So on your right, rise right. of being who you're going to be, you already making note that I don't want to be that. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm never carrying myself to that level. Like, so you you carry your pat on the back in your own in your own world, within your own comforts or your own crib or car, or whatever may be the case, because you might get in a car like, fucking right. Like, like, that's the pat on the back. You get in the mirror and be like, I'm that nigga. You say all that. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're just not doing that shit in the public. Like, you know what I'm saying? They got some people that carry that in the public. I'm that nigga. And, and, and that attitude. And... It rub a lot of people the wrong way, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, so you, you start having people praying on your downfall for that, like, because the, it's ugly. Should the response of that person that is ugly for saying, should, should, should he be cool with some people saying that, that's just him, should, should he be cool with that? Right. The person that you're saying, like, is ugly, like, the way he carrying on, but they got people that want to say, no, they just mean it, man. Fuck, it is what it is. He being himself. Some people can accept. How that, how that, some people can accept people for who they are, like you know what I'm saying. But like I say, you know, on uh, a higher level, that that's a turn on. You know, to certain people, it's just like that's unattractive to those people. Like you know, being what I'm saying? yourself is unattractive. Being yourself. Yeah, I mean, if being yourself is is that, you know, it, it can turn people right, off. Like, you know, saying. you being you could be just. You have a, you know, people say you have an ugly attitude. He got a bad attitude, you know, he got a shitty attitude, you know what I'm saying? It's like, but that's just who I am. They call those kind of people assholes, you know what I'm saying? People on jobs, supervisors that's in a position that, that act a certain kind of way, people like me, you're just an asshole. They accept you for who you are, but you still consider the asshole in because when you do stuff that's not needed to be done, like people are like, why? Like, why you gotta, why you gotta do can that? Can the asshole have your best interest? Sometimes they can. Sometimes they can. That's you know tough love to call. In some cases, you know what I'm saying? In, in some cases, but like sometimes it just be like, you, you know, he don't mean nothing by it. He just an asshole. He right. don't mean nothing right. by it. Yeah. He don't mean nothing by it, bro. And then in life, you start learning to accept people for who they are. I think that's the easiest way to, to navigate through life, just accepting people for who they are and not who you want them to be because that's hard to make a person be what you want them to be. I just think you'll go through life frustrated. You need to do this. You need to, you know, like, Nah, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Unless it's a job where you like, it's your job to make, make sure people taking care of what they need to take care of. But I'm just talking about going through life, trying to make people be what you want them to be. That's, that's, that's got to be a frustrating life for yourself because people got their own mind, bro. And no matter how bad you want it from, no matter how good you see it could be, if they were to do this, if they don't see it, they just don't see it. It goes back to that phrase where they say you could bring the, the horse to the, you know, the river, but you can't Damn, make them drink. Right. You know what I'm saying? I can't make you drink it, bro. So at the end of the day, it's on you, you know? Right, right. And and, and not to get back on that, but that's that that's what I respect about gangsters so much, dog. And because he the first person I ever witnessed, bro, in my life, dog, to do that and and, and to own up to that and carry that. You know what I'm saying? That, see, that's see, the, that, 
But the, oh, good I must, come with that. I, I, good, I, come, good is coming from that. I could, I could, I could, I can say that. But I was, I always wonder if he, if he would be that person if he wasn't, pot, you know, you know, on YouTube and doing it from that perspective. You know, because he's making a bag for being that. You know, he's getting paid to to, to kind of be that. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm going to get out here, I'm going to tell people, you know, it is what it is, and I'm, I'm making a check off it. But if you wasn't making no money off it, would it be still a rewarding uh, way to walk or carry us? You know, like, would you be the same person on your job? Would you be the same person, you know what I'm saying, trying to figure it all out? Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just that he was blessed to... Uh, fall in a situation to where his story was uh, captivating enough for him to uh, capitalize like off and monetize off. Yeah. I, I wouldn't be offering so easy to uh, take accountability or, or, Maybe. or, or to say that. I, I get, Maybe. You I, know, I it, 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 he could be a person that would be still the same person off, you know, off camera with it, but it's hard to say, it's hard to say when you're getting paid to, to, to kind of like, you know, uh, step up to that situation. Like just on the and, job, like, yeah, yeah man, I'm, I'm a rat. You know? Yeah. Like, it wouldn't be so... It, it ain't as beneficial, you know. like, in that in that light, you know, or having to come back to New Orleans and deal with it. Like, if he was in a situation where he had to live in New Orleans amongst that, you know, without podcasting or without having a YouTube presence the whole nine, just coming home with that reputation and trying to, you know, would you still be the same... Yeah, I'm happy to do this. You know, like, I, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? It's just hard to say, like, right there. You know what I'm saying? Because there is a check involved with him being the way that he is about And I also think, like, uh, you know how sometimes, bro, and it don't matter if it's your home or someplace that you're visiting, you know, you'll go, and then you be like, man, you'll go to that shit again, even if it's on another cruise, another trip to where you already been. Mm -hmm. And the first one to two to three times, you still getting that feeling as if it was your first time. Right. But three or more, it's getting to the point to where even when you're going to get a burger, I'm burned out on that shit. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? Becoming and that's what's going to happen to Gangsta about saying that you're not getting the feeling that you had standing on Willow. It's a difference. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not being praised to the level of the people who was in that you know, that rim of the shit that I was doing, that I right. look that I look for that say, like, that's the reason why I won't go back home. But I see it, I'm not getting that feeling. Then they're like, man, fuck going see, to I the think, city. See, I think that he going to grow past that because, you know. Grow it's, past it's, what? The, 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 looking for that because he's not out here, you know, I, I, I think he's not chasing what he once chased when he was younger, like far as the the notoriety, the, the you know, he he's getting it another way. He's getting it in the like lane of what he's doing with YouTube and things of that nature where people recognize him, knowing him, like from that perspective. So he's kinda like still getting it, just not the way that he was getting it from those people. And it don't matter no more because, you know, half of those people are dead in jail or whatever. Like he said, a lot of people who who, who really against me or hate me is a bunch of young people that don't even pr pretty much know me. Like, for the most part. Yeah, like, but know. I'm still standing on if I had to judge it, if a nigga read the warning this way or this way, and still, I, I think a nigga I think he would. I, I think he would want way. it the other way as well, but fuck, you got to live with reality. You know what I'm saying? Like, life ain't no woulda, woulda, coulda, shoulda shit. It's like, it is what it is. Like, that's the reality of where we at. Fuck what you want or whatever. This is what it is. Like, you got to make this work and, 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 and build from here. And I just think that, you know, he understand that side of it, and he's content with doing what he's doing because it's still beneficial to him, and he's still getting that 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 notoriety that he got just not for doing some of the things that he he did it for when he was younger. He's still getting it like in, in this day and time, like you know. Right, right, right. And I want to. I just I, I just want to use game the situation for in in the end it like this, brother. So well, uh. uh Man, like I say, we do the podcast on some journalist shit, but we got our own thoughts about everything. And I just want niggas to have their own thoughts about everything going forward. Don't, 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 uh, like, uh, inherit another nigga thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Because how they look at a person. Right. It's all love with gangsters. Respect, brother. Salute to him. Appreciate yes. him coming on the podcast Real and talk. fuck with us. 
Like, just have your own thoughts, man, because we got our own thoughts about how we move with this. And a nigga don't dictate, nothing a nigga say or dictate how we moving with this shit, man. We, we, we good in our own skin, you know what I'm saying? I seen a nigga say certain little shit. Like, niggas don't know us, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. uh... Meaning got no personality. I saw that. Listen. Like, like <laughs> niggas, like, what? I nigga, saw that. You, if you want to say anything about a nigga, you right. can't say that. Right, right, That's how right. I be saying niggas just be inheriting thoughts and shit uh, of bandwagon with people who they... That be another thing, bro. It's just that, like, sometimes you be bandwagon with a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, you don't really feel like that. It's just that you're cool with him and he feel like that. You just automatically bandwagon with him. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got to have your own thoughts, man. And that's 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 what a nigga need to know, man. And, just in and, life, And sometimes period. people judge people off of a, off a moment. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, when that comment came about, it was like I was like this. Kind of like just watching y'all talk. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I'm not going to interrupt off of you know, y'all dialogue or what y'all talking about. I ain't had nothing to jump in on it. So it's like, I'm just looking. Nigga, like, man, ain't got no personality. Evidently, you ain't been watching. Right. Brother. <laughs> Evidently, you don't watch the show because <laughs> we get it. <laughs> I'm a fucking character within me being myself is a character by itself. So, you know what I'm saying? Evidently, you know what I'm saying? You know, so I saw some of my people go hard for me. You Nessa know, got involved. Yeah. Nessa got, <laughs> get him out of here. And then Garland was like, man, you know, woo, woo, you know, my people spoke, you know what I'm saying? But like at the end of the day, that had to be somebody that don't, you know, and, and, and you got to take the good with the bad with yeah, it, you know. Exactly. Uh, everybody got a right to how they feel about it, and that's the way the better feel, and I'm cool with that as well. Right, right, you know right. Salute yeah. to all the people, man. Yeah, no and, and, and that's the thing, bro. Like, uh, <clears throat> we don't take it, bro, to heart what you say, you know what I'm saying? We appreciate you just... <laughs> coming through man and we know bro like from the first day to the last day whenever that shit come just everything in between we never gonna be on the good side of everybody we're not gonna never be on the bad side of everybody so we're not taking it to heart but i will block you and get you up out of here if you turn the content personal that's cool to voice your opinion on the content, but don't say mean a bitch ass nigga, I guess a bitch ass nigga. That's when I'm gonna block you. If you're in agreeing with what we said, that's different. Th- then that's whatever. Yeah. But when you make it personal, then they let me know, bro, like something going on with your personal life right. that you're making personal threats. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, right. So we're gonna get you about you. Right. That's about right. the only thing, because it's more disrespectful and you ain't going with the guidelines that we present when you first hit our channel. Right. Uh so salute to everybody who rock with us, man. Keep that up. That's the reason why you are my motherfucker coming in on the wrong level. We're gonna get them out of that man. So just 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 salute to everybody, man, who coming through, who not subscribe subscribe, who is subscribed, who just giving us a ear, man. If you did you made it here for the first time or you made it back, man. Salute to y'all. Right, I appreciate this real you. raw shit. You can't get it over the counter, man. I go by Gas the Realist. I'm Mr. Mean of the Motivator. You already know what to watch. Watch this, don't watch that other shit. Yeah. Boom.